Mr. Rosenstein, why are you keeping information from Congress? Congressman, I am not keeping any information from Congress that it's appropriate. In a few minutes, Mr. Closed. Rosenstein, I think the House of Representatives is going to say something different. I don't agree with you, Congressman. I don't believe that's what they're going to say. And if they do, they'll you be mistaken. I disagree, mistaken. but I think, be I think in a few minutes, the House of Representatives is going to go on record saying you haven't complied with requests from a separate and equal branch of government, that you haven't complied with subpoenas, and you got seven days to get your act together. I think that's what's going to happen in a few And that's just not, that's not Jim Jordan. I think that's the house, I think that's a majority of the House of Representatives. In just a few minutes, I think that's going to happen. And I want to know why you won't give us what we've asked for. Sir, I certainly hope that the, your colleagues are not under that impression. Uh, that is not accurate, sir. And you it can... is accurate. We have caught you hiding Mr. information, Mr. Chairman, can we Mr. allow Mr. the witness to answer? Mr. Chairman, point of order. We can go to Mr. Jordan's press conference and listen to him, but we came here to hear from the, the witnesses. The Why did you hide the fact that Peter Strzok and Judge Contreras were friends? Why did you redact that in the documents you gave to us? Peter, I mean, Judge Contreras is kind of important. FISA court judge, more importantly, just as importantly, the judge that uh, heard Mike Flynn's case. Why did you try to hide that from us? Mr. Jordan, I appreciate you giving me the opportunity to respond. I've heard you make those sort of allegations publicly on TV. It's, I got the, and, and I if you let me respond, sir. Mr. Chairman, he should be given right the opportunity now, Mr. Jordan. Answer. It's I am the Deputy Attorney General of the United States, okay? I'm not the person doing the redacting. I'm responsible for responding to your concerns as I have. I have a team with me, sir. It's just a fraction of the team that's doing this work, and whenever you brought issues to my attention, I have taken appropriate steps to remedy them. So your statement that I'm personally keeping information from you, trying to conceal information You're from You're the boss, people, Mr. Rosenstein. That's correct. And my job is to make sure that we respond to your concerns. We have, sir. Now, I've appointed Mr. Lausch, who is managing that production. And my understanding is it's actually going very well, sir. So I appreciate your concerns. Again, I think so the House of Representatives is going to say otherwise. But your use of this to attack me personally Why did you is deeply wrong. Mr. Point of order, Mr. Chairman, may the witness be permitted it's to not, answer the question? It's not personal. Proposed. The gentleman will suspend. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.